Well, we're at uh, all-time highs, $1.26 trillion in spend. We haven't seen anything at that level since uh, 2007, 2008. Uh, we're projecting another 2 to 3 percent growth this year. Uh, wage growth in our industry has gone up about 4 percent in 2017. We expect that to continue to grow. Uh, our biggest challenge right now is finding skilled labor. So wh why do you think things are going so well? I mean, obviously, skilled labor, it takes time to build up that group. But why have you seen that sort of improvement? Why are things at this high level? Well, we see uh, confidence uh, in our board of directors. We do a confidence survey every board meeting we have. We have three uh, a year. And uh, there are 180-person board CEOs, owners of construction companies. They say 76 percent of them say their sales are going to increase over the next six months. Another 68 percent say that they're going to be hiring over the next six months. And it's really accumulation of a number of things. I think the regulatory rollback, uh, the culture of government in relationship with business, and now this tax reform uh, and conversations about infrastructure just give our, our, our CEOs the confidence uh, in the future. What, what, what do you think is important in terms of trying to find the qualified workers? What, what has to happen? First of all, was it a washout? Did a lot of people leave the industries after the crash in 2008 uh, when housing uh, took a, a real downturn? Uh, yeah, that's definitely one factor. I think another factor is a systematic uh, factor with regards to our education system, taking Votech uh, training out of schools a number of years ago. And that whole tra trajectory is changing. Uh, the president issued an executive order expanding apprenticeships uh, earlier this year. That task force is uh, underway, uh, trying to promote apprenticeship training, uh, not only in our industry, but as well as manufacturing. Uh, there's a PROSPER Act that's going through Congress right now that's taking a look at the educational side of that certification. So uh, this is uh, really a wonderful opportunity. A career construction uh, has uh, uh, limitless uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. People enter the construction industry uh, using their hands, learning skills. Next thing you know, they're entrepreneurs and they are uh, running a business. 98% uh, of construction companies in the United States employ less than 100 people. So right. we're a small business community. Michael, I, I just wonder if we do see an infrastructure bill that comes through, obviously there, there's a real need for infrastructure building in the United States and you can point to all kinds of places for that. But what happens if that comes through, if you're already at, at all time highs and you're facing shortages and can't find people to do the work? Yeah, for every million dollars of infra infrastructure spent, it creates about 6.7 direct jobs. So that's another 700,000 jobs roughly per year if we get that 100 billion per year over 10 years. So that's going to be quite a challenge. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got a little bit of a fuse uh, on that a couple of years before those infrastructure projects really start to hit. And so the industry has been doing a tremendous amount of work over the last four or five years. We, we projected that we would have a workforce shortage starting in 2020. We really uh, underemployed at the moment. We've added 250,000 jobs this year, but when you compare this year's spend to the last time we had the peak spend, we're about 500,000 jobs shy. Uh, so we're, uh, you know, really in, in, a, in a big challenge in terms of making our industry attractive. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.